Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. It's me Anil and I am back with a new project and today I am going to start a new project video series uh, that is online food ordering website in ASP.NET using SQL Server database. Okay, so I have already made uh, the demo video of this project can uh, check uh, my previous video or I will give the video link in the description okay so basically in this project uh, there is two main modules that is user module and admin module for both modules we will going to use uh, different bootstrap templates we are going to download it from website the the website name theme wagon okay from there we will going to download it for free okay so i will show you a step by step how to download it and how to integrate it in our project okay then the steps we need to follow that first we will create a database and all its related table okay and then we'll download the bootstrap template and integrate in our project okay then after that we'll going to write all the logic and functionalities uh inside our project okay okay then uh the database diagram like it will going to look like uh, this one the first one that is category and category like category id name image url is active created date all this column will going to contain inside this categories table and this is the data type of each column inside the table okay so we are going to create so we will have uh, five to six tables um, seven seven tables we are going to create for this project okay inside our database so that is the category products card then users orders contact and then payment okay so let's uh, open our sql server database madman studio so we can create a database and all its table okay let's connect to it click on new query so first we will create our database so for that we will write here query create database then database name uh, i am going to uh, give the project name as foodie okay that's why i am using here the database name as foodie but i have already have one database with the name foodie so i am going to take here foodie db that is database foodie database okay select this line and click on execute or press f5 it will going to create our database so our database has been created now we need to create table inside this database right so right now we are in the uh, master database so we need to uh, select here our new database that is foodie db you can select it by here or you can write here query use foodie db select the line press f5 so right now we are inside the database for the tb okay so now let's create all the tables one by one uh, let's drag it down okay so first we'll going to create user tables users table okay the column it contains that is user id which is of type integer it's a primary key column and identity so it will going to uh, increment the value one by one automatically okay 
it will going to start from one and going to increment by one okay then second one name that is varchar 50 and third that is username varchar 50 and it should be unique okay so suppose uh, like two user name is there like uh, then it will going to conflict when the uh, when they are going to log in with the username and password so that's why we are considering your username as unique as well as the email okay so both column will going to take as unique column okay the data it contains should be unique okay after username mobile number then email address postcard password image url created date when this uh user has created the account that date will going to store in this column created date okay and the data and the data type is date time okay so it will going to store the date as well as time okay so select it press f5 after that we will going to create a table for contact the user who is going to contact to the website owner of admin that details going to store in this contact table so the first one is contact id name the username um, email subject then the message okay and the created date when the uh, that contact has been done okay that date will going to store here so your contact id is primary key column and identity it will going to increment one by one uh, automatically okay so let's create it okay so a table has been created let's move to a third table now we are going to create a table categories so the first one column is category id name image url is active created date okay so here is active column we have taken uh, the data as bit it will be going to 0 or 1 or 2 or false so let's create it okay created let's move for the fourth table so we have done with this user contact category now we'll create the product table the first column id is product id product name description price quantity image url category id uh is active column created date okay so here product id is our primary key column identity is equal to one comma one here category id or uh, it should be primary or uh, foreign key okay so be because the category id is coming from the category table okay so that's why it will uh act as a foreign key so uh, you can create foreign key uh, by your uh, itself okay but uh, i will show you like uh, how you can create uh, the database diagrams designs okay from uh, let's refresh it select database refresh so here our database is there which we have created just now okay expand it so here in database diagram we'll going to uh, map the relation between all the tables okay at that time it will going to create foreign keys okay for all tables right now we are not going to create that foreign key we'll create it later okay so let's uh, create the table so our table has been created here now let's create table for cart which will going to store the cart details of a user that is the column contains that is uh, cart id product id quantity user id here product id and user id is a foreign key okay so and yes, cart id is the primary key column and identity okay so let's create this also then we'll create table for orders okay which will going to store the order information the first column that is order details id 
then the order number which will go into a uh, unique okay and then product id which will go into foreign key quantity user id again it's a foreign key status uh, here status will go into con store the information of the order status like uh, the order has been delivered to the customer or not is it or it's in pending so it will go to uh, give information about the order okay then payment id again it's a foreign key then order date okay and here order details id is a primary key identity okay so let's create this table also okay uh here for order number it's not allow, uh, taking the unique so we'll going to remove it okay now let's create it okay it's created and the last table that is payment which will going to store the payment details okay of the orders made by the user first column is payment id which is of primary key identity okay then the second name the username the name uh, the exact name that is on user card name okay the card that is uh, used for the payment purpose okay that name will going to come here then the card number then expiry date cvv number then address then the payment mode like uh, in this project i have given two options for the payment that is one for the cash on delivery and the second one that is a uh, online payment that is card payment okay so let's create it okay so we have created all the tables let's uh, see in database first refresh it expand it you can see here all the tables has been created here cards categories contact cards categories contact orders payment products users uh, we will also create store procedure but we are going to create it while creating the project uh, when there is a new use of it then we will going to create it one by one ok now let's uh, create a database diagram for this database right now we don't have any database diagram so it will uh, display a pop up message click on yes okay now right click on it create your new database diagram now need to select uh, which tables like we to uh, here use like uh, we'll use here all the tables click on add close it we can increase the height and width of it um, this is the four tables ok see you let's drag it Let's take users here, products in the center. Okay, now let's uh, create a relationship between all the tables. Okay, so this uh, category ID uh, we need to make a relation with the 
प्रोडक्ट टेबल कॉलम या कैटेगरी आईडी ओके सो लेट्स सिलेक्ट दैट की एंड ड्रैग इट ओवर दिस कॉलम कैटेगरी आईडी सो इट विल क्रिएट अ की अ फॉरेन की ओवर हियर ओके कैन सी अ दिस पॉप अप which will ask like for which column we need to uh, give the relationship between this both tables categories and product so right now we are creating relationship that is foreign foreign key relationship between this both tables okay and here the primary key table that is category table okay and the column that is category id and the foreign key table that is product table uh, and the category And the column that is category ID, so it's right. Click on OK. Now, after creating the uh, this uh, foreign key, uh, we need to here click uh, expand this insert and update specification. Click on delete rule. Select cascade. So it will allow like when uh, when admin need needs to delete the categories, so it will going to delete all its instance present in all the related tables like uh, if i want to delete the uh, first category okay from the database from the table category tables then then products related to that category will also going to delete it from the products table okay then okay so that's why we are going to use here cascade click on okay so our this uh, foreign key has been generated between this both the tables okay now we need to create the uh, relation between product table and cart table so click on product id column and just drag from there and release it here on cart id column sorry not cart id column uh okay so we'll change it from here like uh, we want the primary key table that is product table and the the unique the primary key column is that is this one product id that is right and we need to create foreign key uh, relation between the cart table so that's why our foreign key table is cart table okay in the column we need to make as foreign key that is product id not the cart id so we'll change from here select product id okay click on okay again we need to uh, select here cascade for delete rule suppose uh, if uh, suppose if admin wants to delete uh, particular products from the product table then the product present in the cart of a user will also going to delete from there okay so that's why we are doing this cascade over here for the delete rule okay click on okay then uh we need to create here this uh, user id the user table okay so our primary key column uh contains uh, in this table user table so this is a primary table and the, uh, our is secondary table that is foreign key table here okay so let's select the column and drag it to your user id column okay so all columns are perfect okay no need to change anything okay let's click on okay expand insert and update specification change the delete rule to cascade okay now let's create a the relation between product table and the order tables okay select product id drag it and release it on product id column so all okay product table primary key id column primary key column product id and the foreign key column that is product id on the order table okay 
click on ok let's expand this and make it to cascade okay now your user id we need to make it foreign key okay so select the column user id drag it and release and release it here the column user id user id user id okay insert cascade okay let's drag it little bit below okay okay now uh need to create a relation between the payment table and the orders table so here payment id is a primary key column so we'll uh, create a relation between uh, the order table so let's drag it and release it on payment id column so all okay payment id payment id okay now need to change your cascade okay in contact table no need there is no foreign key so there, uh, there is no need to create a relation uh, on this table contact okay so uh, we have created all the relations between uh, all tables okay so now let's uh, save it save let's diagram let's give the name diagram foodie tv okay now need to click on yes so that it will going to apply for all these tables the relation that we are going to create it will going to apply for all the tables that we have done here click on yes so files has been saved you can see here now let's close this let's see the uh, the foreign key has been created or not just refresh the tables and go to your cart then columns you can see this one cart id is primary key that is pk and the user id is the foreign key it is denoted by here fk that is foreign key you can see in keys uh, here you can see that is uh, here pk that is a uh, primary key fk that is foreign key with the relation uh, to the product table the cart and product table that are uh, foreign key relationship is there and the other one is that is from the user table the cart and user uh, foreign key relationship is there okay so there are two foreign key relationship has been uh, created on the cart table okay and orders can see here your foreign key three foreign keys there in keys you can see three foreign key applied okay and one primary key so uh, so that's it for today uh, in next video we're going to uh, download the project template from the website okay and we're going to in integrate in our project okay one by one guys if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe it it motivate us to create such more videos for you okay can see uh, all my previous video that i've created here so click on subscribe and press the bell notification so you can get the uh, my videos not uh, notifications or updates to you okay so next video we'll going to create our project and going to download the bootstrap templates for both user and admin then we'll going to integrate in our project okay so that's it for today we'll meet in the next video till then bye take care thank you for watching